Hello there, everybody, and welcome to my bit of a nostalgic one-shot. Um... Oh, God. <laughs> went into a demo, sorry. <laughs> okay, so basically, this series is where I'm just basically going to go through games that I personally grew up with. And they're just basically little one-shots, and who knows? I'm hoping that some people might actually, you know, try these games out for themselves. So today's game is going to be... Soul Reaver. I mentioned it once in one of my, um, Q I think my first Q&A, so... Cain is deified. The clans tell tales of him. Few know the truth. He was mortal once, as were we all. However, his contempt for humanity drove him to create me and my brethren. I am Razio, firstborn of his lieutenants. I stood with Cain and my brethren at the dawn of the Empire. I have served him a millennium. Over time, we became less human and more... divine. <sighs> Cain would enter the state of change and emerge with a new gift. Some years after the Master, our evolution would follow until I had the honor of surpassing my lord. Oh, the sweet nostalgia, I love it. By the way, this is back in the old PlayStation 1 era. So. <laughs> Oh my goodness. For my transgression, I earned a new kind of reward. Agony. You can tell I I really <laughs> I grew up with this game, so I, Razio, was to suffer the fate of traitors and weaklings, to burn forever in the bowels of the Lake of the Dead. Cast him in. <laughs> oh my. I think I was a little too young to play this game. I still played it! Burning with white hot fire, I plunged into the depths of the abyss. Unspeakable pain, relentless agony. Time ceased to exist. Only this torture and a deepening hatred of the hypocrisy that damned me to this hell. An eternity passed, and my torment receded bringing me back from the precipice of madness. The descent had destroyed me, and yet, I lived. That just sense so okay. L little uh thing. Uh, this was one of the first games that me and my dad used to play whenever I was growing up. Oh, oh I God, the jackets! You, you are worthy. What madness is this? What pitiful form is this that I have come to inhabit? Death would be a release next to this travesty. Did not survive the abyss, Raziel. I have only spared you from total dissolution. I would choose oblivion over this existence. The choice is not yours. I am destroyed. You are reborn. The birth of one of Cain's abominations traps the essence of life. 
It is this soul that animates the corpse you lived in. And that, Raziel, is the demise of Nazgoth. There is no balance. The souls of the dead remain trapped. I cannot spin them in the wheel of fate. They cannot complete their destinies. Redeem yourself. Or if you prefer, avenge yourself. Settle your dispute with Cain. Destroy him and your brethren. Free their souls and let the wheel of fate churn again. Use your hatred to reave their souls. I can make it possible. Become my soul reaver. Roll my credits. Angel of death. Oh, God. Uh, the controls are still as I remember them. Clanky as balls. <laughs> okay. A um, little bit of a... Rem a little bit of a reminder. This is a game that I grew up with. Like, I'm not even get. I, it's just goodness. This is the kind of. This is back in the PS1 era. Not to mention, this is like one of the first games. That, oh, god, I forgot how janky the cameras were. But um, this is back in the good old PS1 era. These gates twist space, laying a path across great spans. Actually, I wonder, can I adjust the controls here? No, I can't. Okay. That's fine. Another good thing about this game is you could basically save it anytime you freaking wanted. It's pretty good. I remember this was like a warp point, I believe. You can find these across the game and you'd be able to use them to warp wherever the hell you wanted. Although, the, the controls are just a tiny bit delayed. I admit, I grew up with this game, and... Oh, shit, that's right, I can glide with my tattered wings, that's right. But, um... Okay. This is more like a gigantic puzzle game. You are weak. You must feed. The old hunger has left me. I have no desire for blood. You are changed. Your bloodthirst is replaced by a deeper need. You have become a devourer of souls. To sustain your strength, you must hunt the lost spirits of the underworld and consume the souls of your enemies. I forgot this game had a shit ton of freaking, you know, voice acting in it. Yes, restore my health. So basically, that's your only method of healing yourself. Killing enemies releases their souls, and you can just basically absorb and absorb and absorb, and just until you're completely full. But yeah, I remember this game was a, a large amount of time was just um, puzzle solving, and there were some boss fights too. Heh. Okay, I can still do this. All right, and crouch. Hey, I'm a sneaky. Huh. Yep. There we go. Your wings, though ruined, are not without purpose. Take hold of them as you leap, and they will carry you across this chasm. Because you know that makes sense. The wings don't work. Just gather up the tethered remains and glide. See? Totally works. Ah, oh, God. I remember there would be times where me and my dad would just sit together and play this game. What scabrous wretches are these? Yeah. Sure, the scavengers of the underworld. Their feral hunger has claimed countless souls, spirits who now shall never find their rest. Here we go! Oh. Eat a dick! Now, become one with me! 
<laughs> no one is safe. There we go. That's the way you do it. Ah, I'm so used to using my analog stick, but I can't. You can't do that on this. There we go. If I remember correctly, this lets me switch to. These portals are your conduit between the spectral and material realms. Yeah, that's right. With their aid, you may gather matter and will yourself to become manifest in the physical world. This is taxing, however. Your strength must first be fully restored. You require no conduit to return to this plane. You may abandon your physical body at any time. Yeah, that was one of the things about this game. You could freely switch between the physical realm and the uh, spirit realm. However, there is a bunch of puzzles that revolve around switching between the two. Like, okay, you see how the world is right now? Well, you're going to see a dramatic shift. See that? Sustain your strength to prolong your manifestation in the physical world. If you fail to feed or absorb too many wounds, this fragile matter will dissolve. Yeah, that was another thing. You have a limited amount of time in the physical realm. You'll notice my HP is going to start dwindling very, very slowly. You are young yet, Raziel. You still retain many of your vampiric weaknesses. Immersion in water, while not fatal, will dissolve your physical body, forcing your return to the spirit world. Be aware that in the spectral realm, water has neither heft nor lift. It stands as thin as air. Yeah, so you gotta be careful with your jumps, especially whenever there's water. And hit! There we go. Ah, see what you see what happened? My HP slightly dropped whenever I touch that water. There we go. Do, 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 do. What are these creatures? Do you not recognize them? They are the children of your brother, Duma. That's impossible. These foul scuttling beasts could not be kin of our high blood. Do you suppose that time stood still for you, Raziel? Much has changed since you passed from the world of men. Yep. Obviously you can see that there's a little spike there and there's some sunlight. That is because basically, well, you're gonna see the tutorial on it. <laughs> I knew my opponent's weaknesses, having suffered them myself. Physical wounds are fleeting. Vampire's immortal flesh begins to close as soon as it is cleaved. Vampires need only fear those wounds that impale or inflame. Water scorches like acid, and fledglings are devastated by sunlight's touch. I would have to modify my tactics to suit my foes. Yep, here we go! <laughs> I usually like to bloody them up so I can grapple them a little bit longer and burn! Unfettered from the flesh, a creature's soul fades swiftly to the spectral realm. Draw it in quickly, Raziel, or you will be compelled to follow. Ow! Hey! There we go. Come here, you! You know what? Just for that, you're going to have a nice little trip to the impalement! Or not. Okay. Let's, uh... Try this again! Fuck! I, uh... I forgot how to aim. Okay. Now let's try... You know what? Fuck it! Drown for all I care! Now give me your soul. Yeah, you gonna give me your soul? Oh, there it was. Thank you. Okay, now then. Uh, let's see. 
how do I... I'm trying to remember exactly how I adjust the camera. Not entirely sure how to do that. Ah, well. Okay, so I just need to... Your physical prowess surpasses what you knew in life. Even massive obstacles can be moved effortlessly. Well, I mean... Yeah, I kind of figured that. Hit. <laughs> there we go. Don't mind me, just kind of pushing on. Jump. Hit. Get on there. There we go. Now memory serves. Let's see. Yeah, it's not over here. I think I need to back up a little bit. Uh, oh yeah, it should be right around here. You're supposed to use this block to get around here, I believe. Up ah, there it was. There we go. God, I forgot how to do the. I for, I always forget how to control the camera and all that, but that's okay. It's all good. All right. Through the door. Pixel Crow! The sanctuary of the clans reduced to ruin. Beyond these walls lay the pillars of Nosgoth, the seat of Cain's empire. How humble it now appeared, collapsing into the dust of its former magnificence. And yet, I had only just emerged. In the instant between my execution and resurrection, centuries had apparently passed. This world is wrecked with cataclysms. The Earth strains to shrug off the pestilence of Cain's parasitic empire. The fate of this world was preordained in an instant by a solitary man. Unwilling to martyr himself to restore Nosgoth's balance, Cain condemned the world to the decay you see. In that moment, the unraveling began. Now it is nearly played out. Nosgoth teeters on the brink of collapse. Its fragile balance cannot hold. Yep. Okay. There's one enemy over there. However, I think I should probably grab my trusty weapon that I like to pick. See, sometimes you can actually pick up weapons. There we go. And use them to your advantage. Ah, there we go. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll be taking that. Give me. <laughs> okay. Now let's see. Can't go through there. If memory serves. I have to go further on this way. Got inverted controls. Oh. Let's see if I can get this guy. Ha! Oh, whoops. Ah, fuck! Ow. Listen, pal. You are a fool for challenging a veteran at this game. Ooh. Hey, pal. How you doing? How you doing? Ha! <laughs> I forgot how easy you fools were. Let's see. Alright. I just gotta keep on trucking on. Ooh, wait, that's right. Oh. These doors are the warp points, by the way. Well, kind of. 
Oh god, the camera! The camera was always my mortal enemy in this game. And war point activated. Now they are freely activated, so now you can use these as warp points. I could never figure out what these symbols were, but I always try to remember that the one that looks like your health bar was always the first warp point you found. Also, I really liked the ambiotic music, ambiance like music for this game too. If you guys ever want to try looking up, try just looking up uh, the Soul Reaver soundtrack. It's I highly recommend it. Okay. Oh, hi! Die! Give me your soul! Thank you. Ah, God, I forgot how expansive this world was. Oh no, I suffered the lag. And my spear disappeared. This, at least, had remained constant. The endlessly swirling vortex of the abyss. My tomb and the womb of my rebirth. Though much of Noscoth's landscape had changed, these cliffs gave me my bearings. My clan territory was to the west. I was anxious to see how my descendants had fared during the centuries of my absence. I also gotta give it a gotta, gotta gotta give a hand to the voice actors. I thought they did a pretty good job for an old PS1 game. Plus, I was always a fan of Raziel's voice for some reason. You don't hear voices like that that often. Oh, hi. Fuck. Die. Usually whenever it comes, whenever this game was, uh, whenever I was playing it, my, the spear was always my trusty little weapon. There we go. Ah. Uh. Very well. You know what? Fuck it. I'll take you fools on. Ow! Fuck you! Ha! Give me your soul. There we go. Ow! Fuck! Okay. Ow. Hey. Fuck off. Fuck off. You cheeky bitch. Die. Hm. I'll take that spear with me. Actually, actually, yeah, I like this one much more. I'll leave that one there. My once proud kin wiped from this world like excrement from a boot. I knew the hand that wrought this deed. Indeed. Ah. Come on, you cheeky bitch. Fuck off! Die! Hmm. All right. If you guys are seriously, if you guys are looking for a good PS1 game, that's well, I'm kind of showing you off more of the combat rather than the actual puzzle solving, but. Oh. 
Oh, by the way, the more you hit them, the longer they stay stunned, because sometimes they'll dodge out of your thrust attack. Let's see. That's another warp point, so I definitely want to go ahead and activate that first. There we go. Alrighty. That's right, this was the second one. I can vaguely remember most of the symbols for this game. But I always remembered that the one that looked like your HP bar was the one that was supposed to be like the first warp point. You... Well, technically there is another warp point, but that's in the spirit world. You don't really want to go there that often. Unless you just needed to go back to like the beginning, because in the beginning there's actually quite a few places that you can miss. Even though I haven't really shown it, you do get to unlock like abilities in this game. Shit, he saw me. Okay, fuck it. Bring it on. Ha! Thank you. Oh, no. We don't go that way yet. That way, le that's, uh... Yeah. Until we learn how to swim, or we actually build up resistance toward the water, we're not able to go through that general, by that general area. Well, you like me backhanding you, huh? You like that? Then die! <laughs> oh, hi there. You want you want a piece of this? Cool. Ow. Okay, listen up, you pansy. You blood-sucking pansy! Ha! Ugh. Oh, by the way, there are humans in this game, and um, I also learned this. You might want to leave... There's a human that you'll come across. I recommend that if you do play this for yourself, do not attack him under any circumstance. If he attacks you, just run up past him and ignore him. I highly recommend you won't regret it. Um, torches are pretty damn good, but usually as soon as they light an enemy on fire, they're not that useful anymore. I recommend just go ahead and keeping a spear on hand. Because you can usually good, as long as you can stun your enemy, you can combo them and just basically kill them with a simple impalement. Hello! What the hell happened there? Did we just... Ow! Yeah! Like I said, I ha usually the spear is much easier to handle. The spear is a little bit easier killing the enemies, mostly because, well, uh, sometimes the fire doesn't work, and you always have to waste your time trying to pick them up and, you know, throw them into the fire. Oh god, hello there, I did not see you there. I like how I stab them with the blunt end of the spear rather than the actual, you know, fucking spear. I did not mean to throw that. You know, fuck, I'm gonna grab a new one. Here we go. Thankfully, weapons do not have durability. If they did, I might be in trouble. Okay. Let's see. I think I'm supposed to go up this way, I believe. It's been so long since I played this, though. Ow! You dick! Don't you love that 10 frames per second? At least we got some good music to accompany us. Let's see, I believe... Yeah, there's a switch over here I gotta pull. That lowers that drawbridge. So now we can proceed that way. Not that way. 
That's another drawbridge. We have to go through this one. Can't really look down, unfortunately. Okay, there's nothing over here. I'm basically trying to go through. Ow! I'm basically trying to go through this game relying solely on my memory of playing it, which is uh not the most reliable thing. Actually, you know what? <sighs> I always preferred the sharper spears. You can see the fear on his face. I didn't recognize these flayed racks of flesh. Yeah. Their scent was vampiric. They gnawed upon their victim's carcass like dogs. Yeah. Raziel, most of your uh, family is not doing so well. Yeah, there wasn't really anything over here, was there? Just gotta, just gotta take these guys down. To Take these guys on. One at a time. Okay. Pick up the spear. Fuck off. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> eh, sorry, dude. You're dead. That's okay, though. You're not needed. Hmm. That is not the first human that I was talking about, by the way. Well, let's go forward. There we go. Hmm. Oh, God. There's a human, by the way. Do not attack him. This charnel house bore the unmistakable marks of Melchiah's clan. To what depths had our dynasty plummeted if these ghouls were the descendants of my high-born brother? Were they so debased as to recruit fledglings from the desiccated corpses here interred? Pretty much. You're, uh... Brethren have kind of uh, become disappointments. Uh oh. Yeah, I forgot those guys can go underground. Huh. Now there's a fancy spear over here. Yeah, that's what I like to see. This is the good shit right there. Gotta look fancy when you're killing your enemies. Okay. Now. Gotta remember exactly where I need to put this. Slide it over. Here we go. Uh, oops. Eh, get over there. There we go. Now we're up here. My brother Melchiah was made last, and therefore received the poorest portion of Cain's gift. Although immortal, his soul could not sustain the flesh, which retained much of its previous human frailty. This weakness, it seemed, was passed on to his offspring. Their fragile skins barely contained the underlying decay. Yep, we are basically in the weakest- Hi there! We are basically in the weakest of the weakened area. There we go. Don't mind me, just gonna take your soul and absorb. Yeah, 
I mean, it's easier, if you don't have a weapon, you can usually use the environment to your advantage. But I recommend always having a spear on hand. It's basically like the go-to weapon for me. Oh god, hi there. Very Different colors usually basically tell you kind of how strong they are. There we go. Okay, get in the sunlight. They won't go anywhere near you if you're in the sunlight. See? <coughs> I like how I just picked up the spear mid-combat. Okay. Um... Ah, that's right. I have to go through this door over here. There we go. And down the steps we go. Even though I cannot see. There. Oh, God. Blech. My eyes. And our third portal activated. Now. We need to go this way. Okay, I think, oh, that's right, there's, um, there's gonna be, I think, another, um, stone that falls down, I think, that I'm gonna be able to pick up, and using that, I'll be able to, like, climb up there, but right now, I don't have one. Oh, hi there. Don't mind me. I was just kind of running low on health, so I'm going to go ahead and take yours. Hope you don't mind. I greatly appreciate it. Your contributions are necessary. Oy, I never did like this. Because of the janky controls, it's a little difficult to navigate. Okay. Okay. You usually have to rely on your shadow. Oh, God, why? You usually have to rely on your shadow a lot to. Ooh, okay. And. Huh. There we go, okay. Come on, you cheeky bit. Ow. You know, I'm kind of glad you're here because I'm kind of low on health now. Ugh. Don't mind me, mind if I partake. Thank you. Okay, I need to pick up the spear. Thank you. Vampire telekinesis. That shit's awesome. There we go. Hi. Ow. There we go. Hey! Fuck off! <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I think we're getting toward our first puzzle. Well, our first actual puzzle, I mean. Maybe? I don't know, actually. But you definitely have to be on the move in this game. Because if you are not, then you're liable to lose all your health rather quickly. Uh, by the way, you do get a certain ability that does prevent your HP from dropping so freaking quickly, but that's not until later. Yeah, you're going to come back to life, I just know it. Let's see. Ah! This is our first actual puzzle, I believe, because this is the part where we kind of have to, um, 
go back and forth between the physical realm and the spirit realm. So, actually, you know what? I need to get myself a better angle so you can guys can actually see this. So, here we go. Notice how those things in the wall? Beware, Raziel. These wraiths are vampire spirits fettered too long in the spectral realm. When their vampire natures adapt to this plane, they become eaters of souls. Do not allow these spirits to re-inhabit their corpses. Where is he? Oh god, there he is. Okay, come on, you. No. Oh. Hey, who said you? Stop it! Who said you could absorb my power? Fuck off! No, become one with me. Hm. You fool! Oh god, I forgot how hard those guys actually hit. Oh, by the way, <laughs> my spear is stuck in the air. Yeah, in the in the spirit realm, you can't really use any weapons other than your own wit. Okay. <sighs> okay. And switch. See, now that's how you get up there. You gotta rely, again, on the combination of not only the spirit realm, but also the physical realm to get around this game. Let's see. If memory serves, I have to go over there. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, here's another little neat little mechanic. You can actually flip these. Let's see. <sighs> see? This is like one of the first puzzles, obviously. Okay. Insert. And doors open. Although now I'm kind of weaponless. So another neat little uh, tidbit of information is that usually if you have a particular weapon that you really want to use, it's highly recommended that you at least try to, well, put them, or at least throw them to the place that you're trying to get at. Fuck. Yeah, I could never get that done. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, right there, there's where the first block you need to pull out is. And I believe you're supposed to... I think put it down here somewhere. Oh, hi. Yeah, that was one of the downsides. If you want a weapon, you may have to revive an enemy to do it. Okay. And some enemies may be glowing like this. Well, that's specifically for a later part of the game, because we can't really utilize this yet. There we go. Alright. Oh, hey! Let it be known, I did not give you permission to wake up. Uh. Um... Ignore that. Don't mind that, just pretend you didn't see that. Because you clearly did not see that. So, if you, as you can see, the first thing we need to do is we need to get that block and move it all the way over here. How do we do that? Well, it's gonna take some time. <laughs> not really. Um... No. 
I believe the quickest way would have to be that way. Move it over here. Push. 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 Push! And then flip it. Come on. Ugh, of course. Actually, wait a minute. Oh, that's right. I have to flip it through that way. That's right. That's usually why there's a bunch of enemies down there. Most of these puzzles do take time to actually pull off. So, gotta push this bad boy down. Ah! Hi. Hey! Stop it! Stop it! Cost me some HP, you dick. Another neat little trick is you can actually just push it. So you don't have to go through the animation of um pushing your claws in it. Oh god, come on! Stop it! I know you're just here to hinder me, but I'm still gonna do the damn puzzle. Ah, oh, God, that cost way too much of my health. Okay, now move to the side and flip it. There we go. Do the same thing. Now to the side, flip it, there we go, back up, move to the side, now we get behind it and we just slip it into the slot, giggity, and done. Now we're back in here. What's the purpose of this, you may ask? Good question. But, now that this is actually done, we can freely go between the spirit realm and the physical realm, and the puzzle for this particular one requires that we do go into the spirit realm. So, Restore our health a little bit here. Okay. I'm gonna take a look around here real quick. Ah, see? Looky over there. Eh, there we go. Now, if only I could climb. <laughs> that would be really helpful. Nope. We gotta go to the physical realm to get over here, actually. That was always one of the things that I never did like, though. The fact that you had to go through so much trouble just to get to one spot. So basically, that exists so in case you do mess up, you're able to start again. Alright. Now, we can't even go to the physical realm unless we're at full health, too. So that's why there are some areas like this that consistently spawn souls. Oh, and by the way, our HP does slowly regenerate. Where the hell is that soul? Is it stuck? 
I think that soul is stuck. Shit, I think the soul is stuck! Oh, there it is. <laughs> Whoops. Alrighty. Now we may freely switch. Alright. And jump. Okay. Now comes the fun part. I need to try to get over there. Why, you may ask? Good question. God, it's been so long since I played this game, I can barely remember how the puzzles work. I think I'm supposed to... No, wait, it's not that one. Yeah, I think it's the left one. There we go. There we go, I got it. Okay, now I need to go to either the left one or the right one. I'm gonna go to the left one. See? That's how you do it. There we go. Now those are obviously weights, so how the hell do you handle those? Well, I'll show you. Not like I know the answer to that one. Oh, may as well just pick up that soul while I'm at it. Thank you. Hit. <laughs> Here we go. Don't worry me, don't mind me, I'm just the puzzle master. Okay. Now, guess what the fun part is? So, whenever I get up here, remember how I mentioned how the spirit realm, physical matter, how it says that the physical matter does not actually work? Well, here's how you remedy that. Now you switch to spirit realm, because if I was in the physical realm, the moment I stepped on that, it would go down. So, while I'm in the spirit realm, however, I fall to my death because I'm a fucking idiot. <sighs> okay. You, you get the gist of it. Whenever you're in the spirit realm, physical matter does not really... Er, spirit realm, the... Physical matter does not really do anything. So, don't do what I just did and fall to your, you know, miser miserable failure of a game. I failed. I failed. But then again, I can't really blame the controllers because... It's, okay, the controllers are kind of, um, clanky a little bit. They're just a little bit delayed. <laughs> See what I mean? Some controls are pretty delayed. Although I never did understand why my HP drops so dramatically whenever I switch to the, the uh, spirit realm. Soul, where are you? you? Gonna come to Papa? Thank you. Okay. Would you believe me if I told you that this is actually running much better than it did on the PS3 whenever I downloaded it from the PSN store? Okay. Back up. Now let's try this with a little less failure, shall we? Okay. See what I mean? In the spare realm, Weight has no meaning. So back up. And hit. There we go. Now we just fully restore ourselves and switch back to the physical realm. Oh yeah, that's another downside. Whenever you're in the spirit realm, you can't, again, you cannot interact with physical objects, so... 
Puzzles are a no-go. You gonna come here? Soul. Get over here, damn it! I wish to finish, I crave the finishing this, of this puzzle. I don't think that soul's gonna come here. I think it's just gonna stay away from me. Oh well, my HP is almost full anyway. There we go. All right. Now let's see. Oh yeah, this is easy. What you want to do is you want to make sure the symbol pushes into it. So... I was just kind of backing up so you guys could see the symbol. Now, back off. Thank you. Now, here's the tricky part. We have to turn this thing around to where it actually faces that. So, let's see. I think I need to flip this that way. Flip it that way, and then flip it this way. There we go. Easy peasy. So you guys are kind of getting a good glimpse of what some of the puzzles in this game are like. Although I just realized I have no weapons on me. And in I go. Okay. There's a fire there, which means that's probably my only method of attacking. Remember that one cube I was telling you guys about? Now I can come here at any time I at my leisure. Okay. Now get this thing and put it on top of this block over here. There we go. Now we can jump super high. And that's where we move it over here. Even though we're kind of low on health, that's okay. And move it over here. And jump! There we go. See? We're making progress. This is a very well-designed world in this game, honestly. It's very big. Nearly almost a lot of the places actually do connect with each other. Hi. Goodbye. Ugh, I always hated going through these watery areas. At least until I get to the, the ability to actually swim. <sighs> okay. Jump. Okay, because that's a slidey area. You jump on that, you fall. You're dead. Ow! Fuck off, you cheeky prick, and die! Hmm. It's been so long since I played this game, but I still remember how to. In. Hi. Ow. <laughs> Usually sunlight's like your best friend. They won't go anywhere near you if you're near the sunlight. Hey. Ah, 
I'm living a waking nightmare. I'm seeing colors in the sky. You're gonna die! Ow. The game's very fast paced, especially when you're in the physical realm, because, you know, your HP is fucking dropping fast. Okay. Now, how did this area work again? I think there's a switch you're supposed to pull somewhere, but as for the life of me, for the life of me, I can't remember where it is. Oh. It didn't work. Pfft. I should have figured. Whee! Hi, guys. I think there's another human down here you're not supposed to kill. That guy's dead. Don't worry about him. See? Because I didn't kill that that one human, he now praises me. <laughs> That's right. You belong to me, servant. It's funny because if you attack that one first human, they will basically attack you mercilessly. However, if you spare them, they will basically revere you. And it's honestly hilarious to me. Okay, here's the here's a switch. one down. There should be two more somewhere. I'm not going through that door yet. I'm going to keep going around until I find those other switches. Ah! There's a turn button. There's a turn thingy there. I don't think it's going to work yet. Oh! Never mind! Alrighty! Well then, well we got that thing working, so let's go over here. Now that the machine's up and running, we can go pull that one switch. Oh, hi guys. I was looking for some health, thank you for volunteering. I greatly appreciate your contributions. You, on the other hand, die. <sighs> Thank you. Okay. Now we should be able to go ahead and just head right back up and flip that one other switch. Now that everything should be in working order. Well, emphasis on should be. We're gonna go find out now. And those turbines are now nice and turning. Where the hell is that switch? I think it was around here somewhere. No. Oh, duh, it was right there in front of me. Okay, now, let's see, what part was I supposed to do next? I think I'm supposed to switch to the spirit, nope, oh, wait, ah, here we go. supposed to stay like that. And... I think... Yeah, that's right. There's a pathway over here.
down, down, down we go. Where it stops, nobody knows. I probably should have grabbed the torch. Because I can't see jack shit. Ugh, damn it. Actually, you know what? I think I am supposed to be in the spirit realm at this point. No. Okay. But I am going to go ahead and explore while I'm here. There might be something that I'm missing. Oh! Give me that soul! Eh, I think he got stuck. There we go. That's right, that's right, there was a puzzle in here, too. Back it up! You just gotta make these all match up. Yep. There we go. Now there should be another one somewhere. Actually, you know what? I'll move this over here. I feel no pain! Damn it. Oh well, the guy can dream, I guess. Pull this one back, and burn that. And another one bites the dust. And another one gone, and another one gone, and another one bites the dust. Okay. That one's done. There we go. Want number three? Only one more to burn. Oh, by the way, putting them all the way over here isn't really necessary. I just like doing it because it's fun. Okay, and jump. He's staring at you as he pisses the screen. And that is number four. Boom. Now I bet you're wondering what was the point of that. Nobody knows. Damn, just kidding. The purpose of that was to actually get all of these torches together. That's why I actually moved them. You put that one in the corner over here. Put this one in this corner. Then you just keep on doing the same thing with the rest of them. Although I wasn't entirely sure if I'm supposed to put them in the inner corner or the outer corner. 
But for the life of me, I honestly cannot remember. But hey, no biggie. Ah, I'm guessing it was the inner corner. That's easy to fix. Ah, yep. It's supposed to be the inner corner. That actually add, makes a little clicky noise. Definitely be on the, on the lookout for a sound like that that tells you that you got something right. And slide over. And pick up this one. And push. There we go. It went down yet another floor. And like that, the door should now be open. Oh, wrong way. There we go. You know, I can't remember for the life of me who the first boss... Oh! <laughs> I remember who the first boss is! Now you guys can see some boss gameplay. Show yourself, creature. Do you not recognize me, brother? Am I so changed? Melkaya? Yes, brother. You should have stayed where the master sent you, Raziel. You will find Nosgoth less pleasant than you remember. What has become of my clan? Answer me, little brother, or I will beat an answer from your horrid lips. Everyone is afraid, sibling. You awake to a world of fear. These times of change are so unsettling. Do you think I feel no revulsion for this form? Do you believe for a moment that our Lord would risk his empire upon an upstart inheritance? Hmm. Enough riddles. What are you saying? You are the last to die. Bring it on, you prick. Because I remember how to take care of you. Now just watch this. This is how you beat this boss. Come on, buddy. Come on. <laughs> I think I might have pissed him off a little bit. That's okay. <laughs> he shall fall to his own demise. In, in his own fucking room as well. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. <laughs> My god. It. Ah, there we go. The last one. Where is it? That's a good question. Where the hell is it? Actually, where the hell is he? Oh, there he is. Don't mind me. You're just chasing me, man. Whatever. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. By the way, you didn't hear me say that.
So, now you guys see what I gotta do. Have a nice day, Malik. Whatever your name is. Where can I find Cain? The master is beyond your reach, Raziel. He makes himself known when he sees fit, not when commanded. Bye, Malkia. Raziel, not reduced. Consuming Melchia's soul has endowed you with a new gift. Insubstantial barriers such as these are no impediment to you in the spectral realm. Will yourself to pass through, and you shall. So now we have his special ability. Which is, as he said... This. Cool, right? But anyway, that is where I'm going to end it. Basically, this was my first time trying to do a sort of nostalgic sort of game, or at least nostalgic for me. So, these aren't going to be, I'm not entirely sure how frequent these are going to be, but these are basically just going to be one shots, base, essentially. So, if you guys are interested in Soul Reaver and you guys want to try it out, I highly recommend you do. You can either get it on Steam, but then you'll have to rely on the keyboard, or you can just go through an emulator, or you can just get it on the PSN store. Whatever suits your fancy, I highly recommend the game. I thoroughly enjoy it myself. So, if you guys like this, be sure to let me know. If you like the idea of these nostalgic one-shots, go ahead and let me know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this little thing, and I'll see you guys in the next video.